How's it going guys? It is 1.44 a.m. Wednesday and July 13th here in Japan and we have a bread and butter easy family medicine slash pediatrics question for 2CK. Uh, this stuff can actually be annoying slash confusing uh, when you're first learning it, but as I just fucking said, this is bread and butter and past level. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 12-year-old girl. She has a two-day history of sore throat and dry cough. Temperature is 37.4 Celsius or 99.3 Fahrenheit. Physical examination shows no tonsillar exudates or lymphadenopathy. Question wants to know the next best step of management. Now I'm just going to hop right out of the gates. Okay, you need to know something called the center criteria for family med slash P C N T O R. Okay, and there's variations of the score, but the main one you need to know that's accepted across NDME questions. It's a four point scale. Okay, as I said, there's a there's modified uh, variations, five points, etc. And students will get pedantic. It's a four point scale. You need to know. Okay, and the more points you have, the more likely you are to be bacterial fewer points, the more likely you, you are to be viral. So your four points are number one, fever 38 Celsius or 100.4 Fahrenheit or greater. That's one point. The second point is tonsillar exudates. The third point is lymphadenopathy, usually cervical. And the fourth point is absence of cough, not cough. Okay. Absence of cough. So if you have a cough, that's zero points. If you have no cough, that's one point. Okay, so let's look at this question here and let's go through the center. So first point in terms of temperature, it's not 38 or greater. It's not 101.4 Fahrenheit or greater. So that's zero points. Patient has a cough. That's zero points. And then we said that there's no exudates or lymphadenopathy. So there's zero points here. This is likely to be viral over bacterial. So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, antibiotic therapy, clearly the wrong fucking answer. Choice B, antiviral therapy, wrong answer. We don't give antiviral therapy here. This could refer to, in theory, uh, herpes, right? Uh, shingles as well, uh, acyclovir, CMV, gancyclovir, uh, oseltamivir, zanamivir for influenza. We're getting tangential now. Point is, it's the wrong fucking answer. Now look, as I just said, hopping right out of the gates, if it's likely to be viral, that's zero or one points, okay? The answer is going to be supportive care, which can show up in numerous ways on U.S. Simile. The first is the answer could just be supportive care. We don't see that here. The second could be viscous lidocaine gargle, which is the correct answer, okay? It can also be warm saline gargle, and it can also just be acetaminophen, okay? Those are all supportive care for viral, zero or one points on the center. If you have two or more points, you're more likely to be bacterial, and the first step in management is going to be rapid strep test, okay? If that's negative, if they tell you in the last line, rapid strep test is performed, what's the next best step in management? The answer is throat culture, not sputum culture, throat culture. And if the question asks you, if they turn it into biostats, okay, and they say, why would some patients have a positive throat culture for strep pyogenes? Uh, but a negative rapid strep test, the answer is just simply rapid strep test is low sensitivity. It's easy, but I've seen them ask it. If So when you do the throat culture, that's obviously going to take some time to get your results back. You're going to send the patient home on amoxicillin or penicillin empirically for suspected strep pharyngitis, strep pyogenes, group A strep. If the patient is pre-adolescent or younger and gets a rash, that's beta-lactam allergy. The patient is at, uh, adolescent or older. That's EBV. For whatever fucking reason, if you give a if you give a beta lactam antibiotic to a patient with EBV mono, they get a rash. Okay, and you would do a mono spot or heterophile antibody test. So, as I prefaced with, very high yield for family medicine slash pediatrics. Knowing the center criteria, knowing zero or one points is viral. And you need to do supportive care. Two or more points, you go through the rapid strep test throat culture sequence. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.